In this video, we'll be talking about JavaScript with NeoVim, but the knowledge transfers to many languages. Let's start by taking a look at the tree sitter modules. Now for JavaScript, I have all but one installed and configured. Let me fold the rows down to JavaScript to make it easier to read. Let's see here, I have highlight, incremental selection, indent, matchup, playground, and rainbow. I don't have query linter set up for JavaScript. Now, if we look at refactor, and I'll filter it down to JavaScript so we can see it. All right. I have highlight definitions, navigation, and smart rename configured. Now we'll take a look at text objects. And where's JavaScript? All right. And for JavaScript, I have LSP, interop, move, select, and swap. And we'll take a look at those configurations shortly. All right, let's hop on over and take a look at my tree sitter Lua module. You can see here I have incremental selection configured, highlights above that, indent, matchup and auto pairs, playground, rainbow, refactor, where we have the smart rename and the highlight definitions and move. Let's take a look at the LSPs running for JavaScript. You can see I have TS server and ES lint server running. We get the nice hover help windows. Gives us information about the type. And also gives us string values. Now we can take a look at some completion and some signature help. Let's take a look at some of the nice LSP integration with telescope. Now let's take a look at file type plugins and we'll take a look at our JavaScript file type plugin. This allows us to configure settings for specific file types. They override global configurations at the buffer level. They are configured after. All right, let's take a look at snippets. I'm using vSnip, but there are a lot of options out there, such as Lua Snip. You can see here that I have some that are coming from the LSP and some that are coming from my local snippets. And they are located in this vSnip snippet directory. All right, let's take a look at some of the configuration for LSP and some other things. So you can customize your NVIM web devicons. And this is the TS server setup. We also set up our signature. I'm not using Saga. Previously I was using the ESLint integrations with TSUtils, but now I'm using the ESLint LSP. It's fairly straightforward. You're going to want to get it from this package here. And it's primarily used to format the code and put it in compliance with the linting rules. And these are the main LSP handler configurations. 
And in here you see the various snippets. You can find these all over the place. And you can also add your own for different languages and frameworks, etc. Now if we take a look at the completion configuration, I have a couple here that do not use CMP, and this is just line completion. We also have the ability to get completion from all of our commands. And for CMP configuration, the README documentation is great and integrating with LSP kind. You can set up your symbol mappings here. The defaults are pretty good, but you may want to change a couple and you can do that here. And for CMP, you can see that V snip is set up and my mappings are set up and this is pretty close to the README for CMP, but I've made some changes and you'll want to read the documentation and adjust accordingly. Ghost text, which is virtual text. If you look closely here, you'll see that it's gray after the purple. That's the ghost text there. And it kind of shows you what you're going to get if you actually do the completion. So it's really nice. Yay, ghost text. And then these are my default sources that I always want CMP to bring in. And here you set up your menu icons. And so if you look here, you see the little cloud at the end and that buffer and the tree. You can add those in for more context. So for instance, I have my own snippets and then there are snippets from the LSP and I can differentiate based on that icon. And this just wires up CMP and auto pairs. All right, let's take a look at tree sitter and colors. And see here, that's TS keyword. And this ends up being TS method, TS property. But we are going to use TS keyword return. All right, so we'll switch directories to our code smell dark repo. And you can get this color theme from the link in the description. Let's give ourselves a little more room here. All right, and we'll scroll down. You can see all the different colors being set. And now we find the tree sitter specific highlighting. And what we want to do is change what the return keyword looks like for JavaScript. So we'll copy Lua string and we'll change the copy to JavaScript TS keyword return. And yep, that's right. And then we'll go ahead and write and source it. And there you can see the color is updated for the JavaScript file. Mm, we'll try green now. All right. Now let's do this for Lua. Change JavaScript to Lua. Make it NeoVim green and all right, that's looking good. So the key is to put the language in front of the TS keyword return keyword. We'll just label these up here so that they're grouped by language. And 
And this is how you get to all the different files we've been talking about in this video when you're out on the what's that smell dots repo. And if you want to get to the file type plugins, it's an after FT plugin and they're all in here, Summer Lua, Summer Vimmel. All right, so where are we? Okay. Go ahead and take a look at the diff here. All right, and I'll stage this. And we'll commit our changes. All right. And let's go on over to that directory. See, we just have unpushed changes, and that's that commit right there at the top. All right, so we need to get that pushed out. And so we use the Zish alias GGP, and that will push out there. And now, this is a habit I have of just checking my main NeoVim config directory. But let's go out and check this. And yep, we have our TS color change for return, JS and Lua. And here we can look at our diff out on GitHub. And feel free to steal it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time with more great content.